So talk to us about uh, where your interest in ceramics came from. Uh, you talked earlier about making a transition mm -hmm. from painting to ceramics. So mm -hmm. what, what prompted that? Well, that that's, that's really a, a, a good question. I, I think when I was in middle school, you know, I did a lot of painting. I very clearly remember these clay horses that I made. Um, one of which I still have with its little broken leg, you know. But um, I, I really loved the three-dimensional and the painting equally for different reasons. There's something magical about making something look three-dimensional when it's actually two-dimensional. And all the th wonderful things that go into painting and color mixing and all of that. But I also, I loved... Um, I loved the three-dimensional aspect of things that made them seem so real, you know. Um, and so when I started college, uh, when I was at Wesleyan, I, I did uh, some three-dimensional work, but, um, but mostly two-dimensional work. And I can remember working on a wood piece and a metal piece. It seemed like it just took me forever to finish them. And it was all about heavy equipment and always having to have somebody help you and all that sort of thing. And um, being sort of a, a, I was really not just short, but tiny back then, <laughs> you know. And so, I, and also very independent spirit, spirited. And so I thought to myself, you know, I can pick up and move and create a 10 by 10 foot canvas. But I'm always going to be asking for help if I do these other things. And so, really, based on that alone, I decided to go into painting. And so, that's what I did uh, at the University of Michigan. And that was a very interesting time in the 60s. And at that time, clay was not very interesting. Because it was mostly high fire, it was mostly vessel-oriented, where I was very interested in sculpture. And clay was not actually used that much as a sculptural medium. But it was started while I was there on the West Coast. Suddenly, this uh, wonderful group of artists um, rose up and um, started taking the idea of abstract expressionism into clay. And they were doing these amazing, um, Paul Solner, you know, and people like this were doing huge wild looking you know sculptures and um, I saw Wayne Higby who was a classmate in his show of these gigantic raku pieces that were wild and organic and colorful and they were sculpture and I loved clay and I thought oh my gosh I love clay maybe I'll start learning how to work with clay in a sculptural way so after I got out of school, and um, when uh, Charlie and I were traveling, we went back to um, a place called Livonia, right outside of Ann Arbor. They wouldn't let me back into school as an undergraduate student, so I took just a basic class at the Society of Arts and Crafts and uh, heard about Penland, uh, which was back in North Carolina. And so that planted the next seed, which was to study with individual artists that inspired me, uh, either for um, a particular technique uh, or for just um, a, a way of working, let me put it that way. And so I end, my first class was with Don Wrights, who is one of the first people on the West Coast who started that abstract expressionist movement in clay, and he was a wild man. You know, so, and Penland, you know, sort of established a, a wonderful way of, uh, of working and being open, risk-taking, you know, all that sort of thing. So, Penland actually became my main way of educating myself in clay. And then I have um, uh, this wonderful background uh, in painting, you know, which gave me all the basics how to use the elements, how to use the principles, you know, and I think that's one aspect of my work that um, is maybe a little bit different than other people, it's because I had this 
uh, academic background, but I'm, I would have to say generally I'm untrained or self-trained in clay. <laughs> And it's given me a lot of freedom because I did not learn any of the do's and the don'ts in ceramics. And uh, this is the way I teach my workshops now. And it's, um, uh, it's very freeing. And so I, I, I'm, I'm really happy that I've had this. I know nothing about glaze chemistry. You know, I just work with whatever I've, uh, works for me. And um, so there we go.